ABC 7 News at noon on your side. And happening right now, climate rallies are going on around the world, including right here in our D.C. area. Some students even left school to make their voices heard. Well, this is video from Sydney, Australia, where thousands are hitting the streets, demanding action be taken to combat what they call a climate crisis. There are around 5,000 events planned today in 140 countries. We're going to get over to Carl Willis, who's live on Pennsylvania Avenue in D.C., where that march is underway. Third time being <laughs> yeah, Lindsay, these marches, these strikes are happening all over the country, but this is where they really want to make change. We've been talking with young people, some who walked out of class, some who had permission to get out of class, but they want to send a message that something needs to be done. We've been talking with people throughout the day. You can see that it is full in front of the Capitol here. Here are a few young people who have decided to march today. First of all, tell me, what is the message that you want to send? Um, the message that I want to send is that Climate change should not be a political issue, yet it is. Um, I believe that our current economic and political system has brought us here. Um, there is too much power um, in our free market system. I think that that has kind of controlled Congress into, you know, creating this issue that we have. Um, and I think that that's really clear because, look, it's like all young people vote or marching and everything and protesting. It's not, you know the older generation who has kind of like enforced this capitalist system that we've had. Um, and and you, you mentioned the young people getting involved, voting, marching. What does it make you feel to see all these young people? Some walked out of class to, to be here. Yeah, well, we also walked out of class to be here today. We both go to George Washington University. And I think it's absolutely phenomenally inspiring. I mean, I remember taking AP Environmental Science and pretty much almost everyone in my class during that time in high school didn't believe in climate change. And to see this, this youth movement started by Greta, it's absolutely incredible. And I think it's something that people need to take account of because these people are going to be voting in the next couple of years and we're going to be deciding who's in that big building right there. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. We're just going to walk, walk this way, walk with you if we can. And you can just see, you can see how many people are flooding the steps here, trying to make a change, trying to get the attention of the lawmakers to get some kind of action, to get some kind of change happening. That is the very latest at the Capitol. Carl Willis, ABC 7 News. Back to you. Carl, thank you.